everyone in this video i am going to continue from the last tutorial so in our last tutorial we have created one simple recycler view so in this video we are going to change the recycler view list items so currently we have this list item with only one text view so we'll uh, add one image view here and two text view like one for title and one for description okay the first thing we'll do we'll add one card layout here it's called card view you can search for android x card view here we can get its dependency information so you can just copy it and go to your builder cradle file paste it here so this version number is uh, it's not like 1.0.0 it's different so we have recycler v 1.1.0 let's use the same version number then sync it it is used for creating card layouts so i'll show you how it looks like android card view then here we have this card based layouts uh, these are card layouts so the same layout we are going to use in our app it's showing that failed to resolve android x card view let me give it 1.0.0 yes the build is successful okay so here i'll remove this linear layout and i'll add one card layout card view if i write card then the android studio will show me this uh, this the code package name that we need to enter here the first thing is that we need uh, layout height and layout width layout height layout height will take it as wrap content and layout width layout width is the it will take the whole width of the screen so it's match parent okay let me sense this window size here we can also give some corner radius in a card view layout so if uh, if i write card corner radius we can give one corner radius here so let me give it like 8 dp then we can also give some elevation point elevation uh, for this card layout so let me give it same as 8 dp then let me give some margins so that like the this not all these uh, these items are like stuck together so there we can add some margins on top bottom left right let me give layout margin layout margin here layout margin let's suppose it is 5 dp okay inside this card view we let one constraint layout so if i write constraint then it shows me this constraint layout layout width width of this constraint layout is match parent it is similar as the card view then this height is rep content okay we have created this constraint layout here then here we will add three items one is image view and two more text view image view will be on the left side and two text one is title and one is the description so let me add this image view then width of this image view is 0 dp because we are going to use constraint so if i give it as 0 dp then it will take the constraints that i am going to define height also i am giving it as 0 dp so here i need to add some constraint the first constraint is that the left side of this image view and also first let me give some size to this uh, image view so for this i'll use constraint width percentage 
constraint with percent yeah so this is i'll give it 0 0.3 and we need constraint dimension ratio constraint dimension ratio so here i am giving it as one is to one so let me give one source compact here it's showing one uh, source compact driven okay i should answer the background okay first let me add the constraints the first constraint is uh, the bottom of this uh, image view constraint bottom to bottom of i'll give it as parent so it will move to this bottom to the parent then we'll align this top to this top so similarly constraint top to top of parent that is it's this constraint is uh, aligned means it's uh, to the top of this parent that is this const uh, this constraint layout the top of this image view is aligned to this constraint layout so that means this constraint top of this parent similarly the left will give this constraint left to left of this will be parent and the right constraint right right to right off we can also give it as the parent but it will move it to the middle of the screen so what i'll do here i'll give one horizontal bias horizontal bias here it is 0, 0.0 so it moves to the left also we can remove this constraint to the right okay let me remove this two here so that's which percent is 0 0.3 so if i give it as 1.0 then let me change it to 0 0.5 then 0 0.9 so you can see that it's increasing the size this is the percent of this uh this is a percentage size point here it means it's like 30 percent of the width of this screen so it's a better way instead of using height as like 100 dp or 200 dp if you're using constant layout, you can take the advantage of this width percentage use the width percentage and you can use this dimension ratio like we can also use 16 to 9 Extends to nine, then it will make it like this. But for now, I'm giving it, creating it as a square image, so one is one. Then we will add one text view here. Uh, it is one text view. The the width of the text view is zero dp, and the height is like wrap content. Okay, so let me give one text here and write text. Text, uh, this is a very long title. And here it is. So I am just adding some long text. If so, that will make me to design it properly. Then We'll give the constraints first the constraint start the first constraint start to the end of we will give it to the end of this image view so let me add one id here id image view so we'll give it to the end of image view then it moved to this here then for the last one this end of this text view constraint 
and to the end of parent so it will be aligned to this parent then stop will be the same as the parent constraint top the top of parent so it's big move the uh, it is aligned to the uh, parent of this constraint layout then we can also give some text size here text size let me give it as 25 sp it's sp then we can also give the font family font family give let me give it as n serif then we can also give the text color text color let me give it as 21212 as well then what we can give here um, yeah we can give one margin to the start margin start margin start let me give it as 10 db so it's position here okay that's all for this text writing so what is it showing all the way here you should also add margin left okay yeah so we also need to add margin left here to support these older versions so if i right uh, click alt enter then it shows me that i can if i if you click on this then it will automatically add this as margin left 10 dp then we'll add one more text view to the bottom of it so let me copy and paste it here so it's actually overlapping now so let me change these constraints layer constraints start to end of this to remove these constraints from yeah let me remove this margin right over so what we can do we can just align it to the bottom of this top text view and give it as one id id tv title text view title so constraint constraint uh, i start to start off this is will make it same as this title then constraint and to end of id tv title then constraint top to bottom of tv title so it will place below this text view let me change the text size here i'm giving it as 18 because this is a description that we're going to put here so this text size is 18 text color let me give it as a default one it's a lighter color than this title so and also we can give the constraint constraint bottom to bottom of parent so it's aligned to this parent yeah so then we'll add this list item in our adapter so if i go here we already have this list item here then we are setting the dates in the list item before in this fine method i'm going to just comment this out then if i rerun this program what it will show us let me see here yeah as you can see that it's loading this new layout items this list item file so we have added one card view the card view has one card elevation and a card corner radius you can see this corner radius elevation is there 
and also it has some 5 dB margin here. So that's all for today. In our next video, I'll show you how we can load this data from an API. We call on API and load images and type in share. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.